The European Union is the monster in this situation because the European Union was not supposed to be a monster. The European Union has basically only become a system in order to maintain a neoliberal, the neoliberal project in, um, intact. Uh, to the point that there are many governments in Europe that uh, have become technical governments. So this idea that we could in some way overcome the left and the right uh, we could in some way overcome the idea of a socialist politics or a more conservative politics towards a sort of a good politics, a politics that works for everyone. It's uh, this sort of fantasy of, um, of being able to, to create a neutral politics, a neutral economy that would work no matter what. And the European Union, unfortunately, has taken that direction. And the problem with these big coalitions is that, well, apparently there is no conflict there. There is a sort of a constant agreement between all, all, all sides. But is this a real agreement among all sides, or is this just a way to make sure that the neoliberal system maintains itself intact? Even, even liberal people, even progressive people like myself, are a little bit tired of it because it has not taken into consideration the real needs of people. And most citizens are much more concerned now with clear and uh, direct political policies which can solve their economic problems now. The far right taking advantage of that and the far left not taking advantage of that. It seems that if we continue to search for this big center, big um, moderate party or big, even big coalitions, well, these big coalitions at the end will only give more space to those extremes, extreme right, extreme left, which at least manage to maintain a very clear message through social media, whether we like it or not. It is possible to have conflict within the democracy. It is possible to have conflict within democratic institutions. What we cannot do is we cannot have that conflict outside these institutions, in other words, outside of democracy. If we do not respond and confront that far right um, movement, that far-right politics, that these far-right politicians, we don't confront them with uh, a left, a leftist populism, we are heading for trouble. The past two months have been a good evidence towards more conflict, but real conflict, not a democratic conflict, conflict in war.